In this tutorial, we're going to use the VS Code task to create our own task to generate a PHP server as well as launch Chrome so that we can hit Control Shift B and run a task to open up our browser in our local environment. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of DevDrawer. Today we're going to be going over how to uh, use VS Code to create some tasks that will spin up a PHP server for us and then also open up the browser. So this is something that if you use WAMP or something like that, like you've seen in some of our other tutorials, um, basically it replaces the need for that, but not all of it. I mean, you don't have like a server with um, PHP my admin or a MySQL database or anything like that. But let's say if you wanted to just run some test code um, that's not using a database, it's just flat PHP, then you can use this task and this command to create that PHP server instance for you. And then you can also connect to external services like an API or something like that if you need to get data. Um, or you can you know, use your own server or use WAMP if you're needing to use a database. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you a quick way to create some tasks inside of Visual Studio Code where you can just run a command or you know a build task or something like that and it builds out this PHP server for you and then opens up the browser for you automatically as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do if you're on a Windows machine you can hit Control Shift B as in boy and it'll open up this where you can normally you know build your task to run you you would have a selection right here if you had multiple build tasks that you could run um, since I haven't configured any of them we can click on this to actually build it out so if you can't remember control uh, shift B you can come up here to your uh, your terminal menu so right here and then you can click on run build task which again is going to show you the exact same window so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and it's going to create uh, a task JSON file. Um, so we're just going to use uh, others for right now. It's just going to create a sample one for us so that we can actually see what we're doing here. Um, but what I'm going to do is first create the PHP server. Um, we don't really need any of this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, so let's say I need to open. Okay. Sorry, I'm just getting my. Uh, list of things to show you in front of me. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and remove this. This is a JSON uh, formatted um, page, so you have to keep in mind you have your JSON scripts that you need to run, or I'm sorry, your JSON format, so your curly brackets and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and create a curly bracket here, and we're going to label this one as, so we're going to do label. And this one's going to be, let's just call it PHP server. And I got errors in my output because I'm not done yet. Um, and then we're going to set the type as a shell command because we're going to be running these in our shell environment, so our terminal inside of VS Code. Um, and then we're going to put in the command. So the command to run this server is going to be, if you're familiar with um, any kind of shell or terminal or CMD PHP prompts, you should recognize this, but if you're not, you type in PHP minus capital S, localhost, and we're just going to put it at port 8000, just because I have some other stuff running on my computer and localhost, uh, so 8000 should kind of get it out of that. Okay, and then next we are going to add it to a group which is going to add it to our build group so now we have uh, let me put a little space right here um, inside of this we're going to do another object and the kind is going to be build and we're just going to set it as the default as well so let's do is default and we're going to make that true Okay, so now we have this PHP server. So if we go back and open up our index.php, I'm just going to go ahead and put in some sample data. So let's do PHP, and then string equals test, and then we're going to do echo string. So nothing too complicated. So there's two ways that we can do this. 
since it's our only build task we should be able to hit control shift B again and it executes that um, localhost environment that we just set up so right now it gives us this localhost 8000 started so if we click on this and it opens up in our browser we can see that we have a test here so let me uh, reset this so you can actually see it so it has test here and then if we come over here we can change this to let's say hi and we can refresh it and you can see that it's working it says hi so essentially that's the task that you need in order to create a, um, a PHP server so you can add multiple uh, multiple kinds of builds so let's say I wanted to have a second build option I'm not gonna run it because it's basically gonna be the exact same thing but let's say we want it to run something else in a build environment we just make sure that it's the build kind and then we can remove the is default here oh, keep that let's make this false there we go okay so now if we come back over here we hit control shift B it's actually oh no, let me put this is default is true get rid of the squiggly lines and now let's try to hit it again there we go so now if we hit it you can see that our options here say that we have PHP server PHP server 2 so whichever one of these that we run it'll actually run it um, and right now since we're not running this server if we refresh our logo host out 8000 it's just going to error out because the server doesn't exist anymore but if we hit control shift B we can run either one of these right now because they're both doing the exact same thing it spins it back up for us so let's close out of that task so let's take it even a step further so inside of this I want to make it where I don't have to go in there and click on that URL that it gives me but I can actually have it where it launches Chrome for me and then that launching of Chrome will happen as is depending on this task right here to happen so essentially it'll launch Chrome and then build our PHP server for us so let's go ahead and we can kind of copy this because it's pretty much the same format for every task and we're gonna name this one launch Chrome and again it's a shell environment and our command is gonna be a little bit different so we're gonna do chrome.exe and then we want it to open the page that we created in our command above so HTTP colon slash slash localhost 8000 and then we don't really need a group here because we're not going to be running this as part of our build when we go to fire it up we don't want to have to select it you can if you want to where it actually does it for you but we're actually going to have this task call this task for us uh, but in order to make that chrome.exe part work we gotta add some options to this so the option is going to be CWD and inside of this option we are going to open up our uh, where the file resides on your computer so if you're using Firefox or whatever you can change this but for mine I'm just gonna copy and paste for my notes and it's basically just open it up program files Chrome a Google Chrome application and then inside of the application folder it the chrome.exe exists so that's how it's 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 figuring out what it needs to do here where to grab it at and then actually the application to open here so now if we save this we can't run it yet because inside of this group or outside of the group inside of this task we need to set another variable that's called depends on and then this is another object and it depends on the launch chrome task that we created that is not an object an array sorry okay there we go all right so now we have depends on launch Chrome so if we save this we go back to our index if we hit control shift B it's gonna run our build and then as you can see it opened it up inside of Chrome for us so pretty much this is probably a very short tutorial but if you're wanting to do some quick and quick PHP that doesn't require you know like a MySQL database direct interface um, 
then this is a pretty easy way to go. I mean, you have your index.php, you can create your entire file system out here. You know, it basically works the way a normal web server would work, but it's just using the PHP command to build it out and then using a task builder to kind of automate some of that for you. So again, a uh, very quick and easy tutorial, just something that I do inside of my task um, for Visual Studio Code. I don't always use WAMP. I, don't, I think I only use WAMP whenever I'm doing a tutorial for you guys, but this uh, this is something that I do, or I use the server that I built, which you can you know click on the little notification above and see you know what that is if you want to recreate what I did whenever I built my own server for I think it was less than 100 bucks. So again quick and easy uh, if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you have any other tasks that you created for your VS code that you think other people should know about leave them in a the comment below I will add this to my github profile just in case you wanted to use my task.json and um, that's about it so uh, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later